guys welcome back it has been a while life has been kind of crazy lately and just very very busy and I really want to show you how well the new garden is doing before that because it's been a while I feel like I need to rewind and show you the whole process of finishing up getting this whole garden ready because I haven't even done that yet so let's do that and then I'll show you how everything's looking <laughs> yesterday that all of the new products that I'm going to be using from Gardner Supply for their photo shoot for 2022 for the catalog are coming in today, which means that I can probably plant today. I've got two more beds that I've got to get filled with soil that I haven't finished yet and probably would be able to plant after that. I might have to go to a local nursery um, in, in town and see if I can find a couple more plants based off the um, type of plants that we'll be need to be using um, but I'm really really excited so I'm up early and I'm hoping to get a lot of work done today and I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me so I am drinking some coffee spending some time with my little furries and doing some editing but we'll be getting outside pretty soon well you guys I am slowly making a dent in the soil, but I am struggling to be motivated to do this today. My back is so sore. The soil is a lot heavier because we just had a big rain, so everything's like the wheelbarrow is harder to move. It's harder to get the shovel in through the dirt, so I am struggling. You guys get to see it in a short, fast little clip, but it's taking forever actually in real life and it's taking many days to get this done. So I'm gonna be very happy when I'm through. So some of the soil has settled a little bit as it's gotten rained on. And I'm currently working on this bed and it's taking a lot of loads and then I'm gonna have one more. So I get a lot of questions about the best way to fill in soil in a raised bed and I found that the thing that works best for me is to do a bulk buy option. Maybe reach out to your local nursery or see if there are places around you that offer bulk soil options. Some places deliver. I don't have a place here out where I live that delivers so what we do is we take our trailer and they dump it by the cubic yard and our trailer is what you usually buy for is by the cubic yard. Um, so this entire trailer full of soil for where I got it from is $80 and that is just so much cheaper than if you were to buy bag soil. I will say on the other end it's probably going to be a lot harder to find certified organic soil. So make sure to ask as many questions as you can about the soil to make sure that it's right for you. I like to try to garden as organically as possible. Sometimes it's not full organic and I don't do certified organic. 
um, but I try to take as many organic approaches as possible within my garden. <laughs> fun and exciting day. We just got in all of my packages and trellises and things that I will be using from Gardener Supply. Jade is helping me finish up putting soil in the last of the raised beds and hopefully once we get everything put together I'll actually be able to plant today which is really exciting. We're actually having a bit of a cold snap here in North Florida and it has been like 45 and 48 which is kind of unusual for it to be this cold already in North Florida so um, and in November so I'm hoping 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 that it'll warm back up again so I can have at least a month a month and a half for these plants to grow and get established so that they'll be ready for um, a photo shoot um, so just wish me luck I do want to mention also that because some of these products are new developments, I may not be able to share them quite yet, and I don't know which products I can share and can't share um, until they're released, so just keep that in mind. If I'm not showing something, that's probably why. <laughs> have a couple more products that I have to put up in these two beds um, or I may switch these and put the, those two in one bed I'm still trying to figure it out so I just finished getting the soil in the last bed and getting all of these trellises put up and so now is the fun part where I finally get to plant oh it's so exciting <laughs> this incredibly beautiful sunrise before I had to work today. Look how beautiful. I have quite a few more plants I need to get planted, but so far everything is looking good. The only bad thing so far is that we're already getting frost here. We're going through a bit of a cold snap, which is unusual and makes me nervous. So walking out to frost already in November, not good, not good at all. I haven't been the biggest fan of this time change because I'm getting super sleepy very early, but getting to see the sunrise, definitely worth it. I wonder if you can really tell how pretty it is. I mean, it's gorgeous. What a wonderful way to wake up and enjoy coffee before work. All 
right, you guys. We have had some freezes and a very cold November, but now everything is warming back up. Nights in the 50s and 60s, and everything is growing so beautifully. This is borage. Look how huge this plant is already. So we have all of the new trellising, which I want to explain more about. These are part of the Zenith collection, and these are little standalone trellises, which you can use for peppers and eggplants and tomatoes and peas and any sort of the vining things. They do have these in blue and yellow already that I know for sure, but the black is new to the collection, and I really, really love the classic black. I think it looks very clean, so they're really, really pretty and I'm really loving these and then in the back also part of this new collection also just look how everything is looking so good is these it's kind of a shorter one where you can do some trellising on the side of like maybe tomatoes or peppers and then do something like peas I'm doing peas in the middle and then I have all of my lettuces and carrots in the back there. And then over here in the back side of the garden, we have the tall version, which will also be new to Gardener's collection. And look how cool that is. So I'm doing scarlet runner beans up the middle and tomatoes on the sides of this one. And these are also, these are pop-up uh, tomato accelerators that you can leave on as protection over tomatoes and they have these These ones are already out, but they have these little zip tops with a little screen For at night and if it gets too hot, you can kind of unzip them and let them air out So those are really cool, too And then all around I've got some spinach and some other greens and I'll do a full garden tour soon and tell you what everything is but they also have new to gardeners is going to be part of their DIY connector kit collection. Well, they have be selling these connectors, which come in red and black, which will be new. So then you just buy electrical conduit and cut it off to the lengths that you would like and make your little teepees. So I have a smaller one in this bed with a bunch of different brassicas and some calendula on the side and then a taller one over here. So I'm doing kind of runner beans on this one and some peas on the other one. Um, but how cute are these? I have been so, so in love with just everything that I've been using so far. Then over here, I've got a whole bunch of other kale and kohlrabi up the front. Look how pretty and big everything is looking. I feel like from far away everything looks small, but really it's quite bigger than you actually think. Some tomatoes. This one's looking good. I actually just had to pull off um, some buds on this one. It's already trying to flower, which I want it to get bigger before it starts focusing on that. So, but look how lovely everything is looking. So, so far, a slow little tour of everything. It's looking so good. I'm loving all of Gardner's new uh, designs for the DIY connector kit, for the teepees in the new Zenith family collection. Um, like I said, you can get these standalones already in blue and yellow, but you'll have to wait for the black and then the new models that are very, very cool. I am really loving getting to try out some of these different trellising options. You guys know I've been using kind of my own DIY trellising for the past several years uh, with the arches and uh, the galvanized steel fencing and some T-posts or you could use um, cattle panels. But it's, it's been really fun to just try out the different trellising and just see how different things work and just have a different look in the garden too. It's just really fun to switch that up as well. So I've been trying to make sure that I'm coming out here and thinning things as I see stuff pop up. These are little radishes. And this is calendula, which looks like it's about to bloom, which is really exciting. I am just very happy with everything. It feels so good to have a garden again. Oh. And just be with all of my plants. 
planted some garlic back here, which is why this section looks very barren. And then I'm planning on thinning these out as necessary as these get bigger, because they're pretty planted pretty closely. Look how good this all looks. Thanks for hanging out with me this I guess it's been about a whole month that this video has spanned over, so thanks for hanging out with me this month. Uh, sorry it took so long to get this video up, and um, I miss you guys, and I have miss seeing your lovely comments and interacting with you, and hopefully I can get back on a more consistent uploading and posting schedule soon. Uh, hopefully after the holidays, things will slow down a little bit and get back to normal. But um, I hope you all are doing well, and if you're in Florida, that your gardens are doing well. I know here where I'm at in North Florida, which is near Tallahassee, we had a very, very cold November, some several freezes, just a lot of cold nights, and then now we're warm again. I could sunbathe out here right now, it is so warm, but I am a true Florida gal and absolutely love the warm weather, so it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I actually really prefer this and prefer this for the garden too, so I hope you all are doing well and I will see you next time. Bye you guys. Bye.